People are born, they live there, they die, they get married, they're buried in uh, places like that, and uh, it's just not the same thing to change the name. Finding a way to honor a brave hero. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Lindsay Lippman. A national civil rights organization called on the Army to rename Fort Hood, but the Colleen chapter of that group says there's other ways to pay tribute. Maggie Low Miller has the story. An idea to preserve the memory of Master Sergeant Raul Perez Benavidez garners national attention. A national civil rights organization known as LULAC says Fort Hood should be named after the Texas Medal of Honor recipient. Initially, I thought it was a good idea uh, because I know Roy Benavidez. We served together. He's been here in the house. Raul Villaranga first heard about the resolution on the news. He discussed the idea with LULAC Council 4535. The general consensus was uh, that uh, Benavidez ought to be honored and, uh, in some manner, but uh, the, uh, the council, the uh, members of the council, did not support renaming Fort Hood. We spoke to LULAC CEO Cindy Benavidez of No Relation to the War Hero a couple weeks ago. For us, it's so important that we honor our different heroes who have fought for our country, who have fought for the freedoms that we're able to enjoy, our democracy, um, and what we value here in America. Both the Colleen chapter and the national organization agree. His bravery should be celebrated. We should look at the honoring uh, the people, especially those that have served in a manner like he did. And, uh, and I don't think uh, you should really honor them by replacing somebody else. Viaranga says he had a productive conversation with folks at the national level, but it's all about sharing ideas and opening a dialogue, both here at the Great Place and beyond. Something like this should be vetted with the local council and obtain the approval or otherwise, but let him know what's happening. On Fort Hood, Maggie Low Miller, Central Texas News Now. Villaranga says perhaps naming a bridge or a school after Benavidez would be a fitting tribute to the late hero. We reached out to the Army's press desk in Washington for comment several times, but have not heard back. So who is Master Sergeant Raul Benavides? Well, in 1965, while serving our country in South Vietnam, he stepped on a landmine during a patrol. Doctors said he would never walk again, but he was determined to prove them wrong. He walked out of the hospital over a year later and returned to South Vietnam in 1968. That same year, a 12-man Special Forces patrol was surrounded by a 1,000 enemy soldiers. Benavides heard the call for help and rushed to their aid. He was left with seven major gunshot wounds but saved eight lives. And in 1981, he was awarded the Medal of Honor. We also wanted to dig deeper into the life of Fort Hood's namesake, John Bell Hood. Now, he was a Confederate general during the Civil War, nor known for his fearlessness and suffered a number of injuries on the battlefield. Hood attended West Point and served Texas as a lieutenant during the 1850s. He was named commander of the Army of Tennessee when he was just 33 years old, making him the youngest commander on either side of the Civil War.